Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to draw furry heads. Um, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to want to gather references of artists that you look up to or you want to study from, or just, I don't know, anything that you like, uh, say to it, and then you break it down, basically. Okay, first step is to like have a decent grasp on the fundamentals. So like, form and perspective would help too. So I'd really recommend uh, doing draw a box. It will teach you perspective, how to draw textures and other shit like that. It's very helpful. And yeah, I'd recommend it to basically anyone that wants to learn art. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. And we're just going to... Okay, I should probably make it lighter. Okay, yeah, use the light color so you can actually see what you're doing. And then you just... Draw over, you don't trace, you draw over, and then try and like figure out how the artist basically started this. So I'm gonna start with a circle with the eyes here, and then this is gonna be a cylinder. I don't know if I should do the ears or not. Oh, fuck it, why not? Okay, then the ears, and then the eyes are there, they're pretty average. Okay, so once you've done this, you're gonna want to try and recreate it on your own. So, a circle. It doesn't have to be like perfect, just try your best. So you can see I'm not very good at drawing them. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this around here. Then, okay, probably should do the snow. Here. So, yeah, uh, once you've done this, you're gonna want to drag it over onto your reference and then you'll be able to see what you did wrong. So for me I'm gonna say I did the snout a bit too long and the eye line is a bit too low as well. So I'm gonna delete this. You don't have to delete it, you can just hide it. I'd probably recommend hiding it. So I'm deleting it so you can see your progress and see how much like you learn and whatever. Okay so I'm gonna redraw this, another circle, then... Oh fuck, I forgot if I made it too low or too high. I was gonna guess if I made it too low, so it's gonna be a bit higher. And then a circle, a bit of snow, I made this not too long. Hopefully it'll be short enough this time, and then I like blocking the eyes I guess as well. Okay, let's check now. Alright, that's good enough, I guess. Yeah, could be better, but it also could be worse. Okay, so I'm gonna hide this, and then let's move on to the next reference. Oh yeah, by the way, all of the artists I'm breaking down will be in the description in like, order. Just a warning, the first one has some NSFW stuff, so if you're a minor, probably not a good idea to check them out. Okay, so once again, okay, fuck. Okay, once again, a circle. This might be too big, but whatever. Then here, then the eye line. And then the nose. This has a more, like, humanish face, I'd say. There's still, like, a snow, but it's not that big. Not like the first one. So you don't have to make, like, a cylinder or whatever. You can just kind of. Do what you do for humans, I guess. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm gonna redraw it again. Okay, so... A circle... Center line... Eye line... And then a snout. Okay, so since it isn't like a cylinder, I'm just gonna... Try and... Okay, you can, yeah, this is where perspective comes in handy, because you'll be able to see it's like 3D forms and yeah, block it in that way, which is extremely helpful, I'd say. I'm not sure if this is even a perspective, but I guess it could be considered it. Okay, the eyes like this. Then I'm gonna hide this and check if it... Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna check if this fits. Oh, 
Alright, I'm striving for perfection, so I'd say it's pretty good. Alright, so I was gonna do all of them, but I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna do all of them. But, uh, if you want to learn more, I'd probably recommend spending more time on them and actually, like, blocking, uh, not blocking in, but, like, drawing in the details, like, the eyes, the nose, the hair, and shit like that. You'll probably learn way more. And, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to, uh, use all of these references to make your own drawing. So I've got this bunny down here. It's also good to use actual animals as reference. Because they're real. And there's probably not any mistakes you can pick up. Oh yeah, I recommend uh, only setting artists that are like... Good? I guess. Or like, um, artists that have a good grasp on the fundamentals. Because you probably do not want to study someone that does not actually know how to draw. Because then you'll pick up their, your mistakes and you won't improve that much. But do what you want. Not my problem. Okay. I should probably... Okay, this has like the most bunny-ish face, so I'm just going to drag this down here. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm probably going to start by breaking down the faces in this one. Okay, it's kind of pixely, but nah, fuck. Okay, I'm going to make it yellow. It's too big. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to use the cylinder again. The eyes are here. Circle, eyeliner, here, here, here. Okay, I'm not putting any efforts into these, whatever. Fuck it, I'll just get started. Alright, black brush, and let's go. Okay, so, probably could have references that are like, in the direction you want to draw the face, so as you can see here, they're all facing the same way. So it'll be easier to use them as reference. Anyways, let's get started. Okay. So, yeah, it's always good to start with a circle. I mean, some artists like should start with the eyes or something else, but that's probably because they've drawn for ages and like do the construction in their head because they've done it so many times. Anyways, um, yeah, the headline, eyeline, and then the snout. I think I'm gonna do something like this one, because I like the way it looks. So, here we go. And the bunnies have to do like this. Okay, the eyes are uneven. <laughs> Okay. That'll be a good idea to also like flip your canvas so you can see all the mistakes you're making. But I don't care enough, so I don't do that. Plus I'm lazy and I usually do not want to rework my drawings. So just some eyebrows. And then the mouth. Hmm. Should I do it open or should I do it closely? Like, I'm gonna redraw the nose first. Then no, that's worse. Okay, here. You can start shading lines. Eyelashes, why not? And then it's time for the mouth. I'll do it open because why not? Some teeth. And just shade that in. Okay, it's time for the ears. So this one is like the ears I won, but also they're not very bunnyish. I think it's a yeah, it's an EV thing, OC or whatever. So I'm just gonna mostly look at the rabbit. Okay, I made the brush too small. That's too big. Okay, I'm just gonna reference the rabbit. That's the actual rabbit that's there, and I'm gonna use that to draw the ears. I'm gonna do to like do a circle and like blocking where you want to draw the ears. But yeah, just do what you want basically. Up to you. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some hair. I should probably do the neck, so add the neck after. I do the hair. Mm. 
Yes. Mm, I'm trying to erase the guidelines. It's probably a good idea to just like draw everything on a separate layer, but once again, I'm lazy and I don't do that because that's too much effort, even though it only takes a few seconds. Okay, oh, fuck was Okay, just yeah, erase all the guidelines. Oh, okay, that was a wrong eraser. They just erase all the guidelines and anything you don't like. Just polish it a bit, and then you'll have like a semi-decent furry face. Maybe you won't. But if you don't, that's okay. You can just practice more, and then you'll eventually get what you want. Like everyone says, practice makes perfect. As long as you're practicing right. But uh, yeah, the nose is kind of fucked, so I'll finish that. And then I'll give up on this. Alright, now the mouse looks fucked, I'll finish that as well. And I'll finally give up on this.